my name is Dr. Armin Syed and today I'm going to show you how to uh, actually carry out uh, multiple regression analysis in X software alright actually there is a, a very powerful package for statistical analysis in Excel which you uh, could uh, activate it uh, the direction for activating this package is through file my uh, office is uh, 2019 version file options add-ins and then you should click on go uh, tick the analysis tool pack and then click on OK. All right. In the data tab, you can see now that the data analysis package is ready to use. All right. I click on this package. Well, I am looking for regression. Here it is, regression. And then click on OK. All right. Here is the input. Input y range y range is uh, actually the dependent variable my dependent variable uh, here is y and i have to select this column for my dependent variable and then uh, input x range x range actually are independent variable are effective variable that uh, actually has impact on y variable all right I have three x's three independent variable that uh, uh, affect actually my y variable all right after uh, selecting y range and x ranges I have to do something all right labels it means that my first uh, row here is the name of the variables actually the label for the variables constant and zero it means that you constant uh, for regression model um, whether is equal to zero or is not I uh, I don't tick this uh, actually option confidence interval or confidence level you could tick this uh, to show you the confidence interval or confidence level for the coefficients of the regression that uh, actually is print in the output okay here is uh, where you uh, actually want to put the output uh, in all right um, here I actually select new worksheet new worksheet my output would be uh, will be shown in a new uh, worksheet okay here are this as uh, actually some other options uh, I just want to test the uh, uh, normality for my residuals and other are some optional uh, actually uh, things that you can tick or you can uh, don't use it all right I click on OK okay this is a new worksheet the first set is summary of the output as you can see R square my R square for a regression model is 0.87 which is an uh, actually a higher square adjusted R square all right the ANOVA model ANOVA means analysis of variance for my regression model regression residual total these are the source of variation degree of freedom sum of squares mean squares and then F value here is the uh, significance for F or P value as you can see the, my p-value is actually uh, less than a point 
0.5. Then I can conclude that my regression model is significant. Okay. Since my uh, regression model is significant, I have to know that uh, which variable have a significant effect on my um, dependent variable. In the next uh, table, I can see that coefficients are shown here for me. Intercept or the constant of the model is negative. The coefficient for x1, the coefficient for x2, the coefficient for x3. Alright, actually there is a 95% interval for each one of the uh, coefficients. The lower one and the upper one. The standard error for each of the uh, coefficient, t stat or t student, and then the p value. p value is telling us that, okay, we have to actually compare it with 0.05. My p value here for my intercept is 01, therefore, my intercept is significant. The coefficient for x2 uh, is significant and the coefficient for x2 uh, and x3 are significant too because these all of the uh, p-values are less than 0.05 we can conclude that all of those uh, actually independent variable that I have used in my regression model have a significant effect on my uh, dependent variable or y. Okay, this is normal probability plus for the residual. As you can see, there is a uh, actually some there is a scatter plot that shows how your uh, uh, residuals are scattered. Here I uh, prepared for you a normal, actually a perfect normal plot. If your data is scattered finely around these blue lines, you can conclude that your residuals is normal, okay, has a, a normal distribution. But if your uh, residuals for the regression model are somehow very far from this line uh, you can say that uh, your residual is not normal actually it doesn't has a normal distribution one of